All right, we got hair up in a bun. We have minimal makeup. We are fueled by fasting and coffee today. And we are gonna be doing a good old thrift haul today. This is just the clothes. I have a whole bunch of shoes to show you too. So if that's something you wanna watch, then please stick around. Hi everybody, my name is Catherine and I am a part-time reseller on multiple different platforms on the internet, mostly Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, places like that. And I like to go thrifting um, at lo local thrift stores to flip for a profit and, you know, be able to afford some nicer things for myself. So what I do is this is compiled of multiple different thrift trips actually I think all in the same day, multiple different thrift stores, I should say. Uh, the first one being, I went to the Goodwill Bins, which if you're not familiar, that is the Goodwill outlet. Literally, they just, that is the last stop for Goodwill and they just throw all the items into blue bins and you pick through them, like you're picking through trash and hopefully you find some goodies, you pay by the pound there. And then after that, we went to Plato's Closet because they were having an amazing clearance sale. Like I've never seen prices that low before, even lower than the bins, let's just say that price-wise. Um, and then where did we go afterwards? I think we went to the Humane Society thrift store, uh, which is one of my favorite places to shop because, you know, supporting all the animals. So let's get started with it. So I think the first, if I categorized everything correctly, this is going to be coming from the Humane Society. Um, I'll let you know when I switch off to other other stores. But the first item is this cream cable knit sweater. This is Loren by La uh, Ralph Loren. I honestly got super duper excited and probably would not have picked this up if I would have slowed my brain down just a little bit. Um, I just got too excited because I saw black label Ralph Lauren, um, but not all labels are created equally within that company. Um, so if you find just regular Ralph Lauren black on a black label, that is superb. Um, then I think it goes like purple tag, then green tag, but this is just an offshoot. This is just Loren by Ralph Lauren. So I should have slowed my roll a little bit, but it's still a really cute piece. Again, kind of that cream cable knit sweater. I am gearing up for fall. If you have not seen my recent reseller recap, I'll leave, leave it up in the corner for you. Um, my last average days to sell was about 33 days. So I'm always trying to think what what season are we going to be in in 33 days? I live in Southern Arizona, so it's still hot as hell here and it will remain hot for quite some time, but other people live other places that seasons actually changed. So I'm shopping for you. <laughs> the next item is a brand that I have not found before, but heard lots of things. This is Outdoor Voices. Um, this is a cute, like a little pale pink, kind of boxy uh, short sleeve t-shirt, size so medium. And we have this Wrangler uh, kind of snap, pearl snap uh, top. On the back, it has this like embroidered stitched cross on it. There are a few flaws on here, like some pulls in the, the stitching. Um, basically, you just note that and list it. Um, I just thought it was too cute to pass up. And this is a size large. Next item is Maeve by Anthropology. So you know it's a newer Maeve tag because it actually has Maeve by Anthropology instead of just Maeve on it. But it's this cute kind of little transition piece from summer to fall, this kind of Kelly green ribbed mock net, mock neck <laughs> top, kind of these quarter sleeves that go to the elbow. Very cute size medium. This next one um, is this vintage Warner Brothers Studios chambray long sleeve button down with little embroidered Tweety Birds and just like flowers and ladybugs. Super oversized because this is a size medium and I'm assuming, I mean, obviously anybody could wear this no matter what their gender or non-gender is, um, but I'm gonna say that it was meant 
like a women's cut and it's a size medium so it's probably very oversized for a medium next piece was just kind of interesting not a brand that i typically pick up but i just thought the print of it was interesting so this is uniqlo size small um sweatshirt but what was the interesting part is that it was a collaboration with the uh the louvre in france so this is the venus de milo they kind of they when i looked it up it says that they you know take inspiration from it and then like add really cute floral details um when I was looking up pictures of this just to see how it was fitting, it looked like it was oversized, like it's supposed to be oversized. The model in the picture says she was wearing a size small. This is a size small, but this one looks more fitted compared to that. So I don't know. I don't think it was kids either because I checked to see if it was kids and it was not. So I don't know about that. Next thing I picked up was this Pendleton um flannel like lightweight plaid flannel again kind of sourcing more for fall this is a size large it does seem a little bit small to be a size large and i don't think it's kids this i just picked up due to style um this is crazy horse by um liz claiborne and why I picked it up, it had a very kind of that girly, what did they call it, the co coquette type of vibes. I mean, it has this like velvet little ruffle trim and like kind of the fair aisle like knit on there. Kind of this very baby ballet pink. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm kind of branching out into what I'm picking up and it seems to be working so far. So I guess so far so good. Um, this is a size large. This I ended up picking up for me. This is, if I can get the tag on, done. This is um, Ava and Viv, or yeah, Ava and Viv. Sorry, I'm looking at it backwards in the um, in the camera. Um, just this really super soft cream sweater with like the the bassoon balloon type of sleeves, deep V neck. This is a size um, extra large, new with tax. So I will put that off to the side for myself. Next thing, cabbie. I'm pretty particular about cabbie, um, picking up cabbie items. Cause for me, cabbie doesn't sell that well, but when I see a really cute kind of more unique style, I'll pick it up. So this is cabbie and it's kind of this fun, tiger oversized cardigan kind of like slouchy looking size medium this is a fun kind of slouchy neck i think they called it a mock top something like that um, this is athleta size medium this really fun olive green kind of different um textures so this is more of like a sweatshirt texture this is more of like a i don't want to say nylon but has a slicker texture to it with the drawstrings on the bottom this is um just an, uh, the anthropology house brand so by anthropology um, they call this a tunic dress, tunic mini dress. So you could wear it as a tunic or as a mini dress. Kind of this really cute geometric kind of 70s like print, deep V, flutter sleeves, fully lined. This is a size small. This is no brand, but I just thought it was super cute because a lot of um, kind of retro style stuff has been selling well for me. Um, so this is a cute just little fit and flare, almost skater dress with this like pearl beaded Peter Pan collar. So that was cute. Again, no contact tag, no brand. Um, so this will solely be selling on style alone. Sometimes that works out for me, sometimes not so much. 
Uh, good old Eileen. So this is Eileen Fisher. This is an old tag. This is also Petites. Um, just kind of this like oversized sweatshirt tunic with the cute little like hip pocket, long sleeves. Another Maeve by Anthropology. So again, that's what that tag looks like. Um, size medium, tiger print, um, knit sweater, very soft feeling. I just realized I'm like, I got a lot of tiger print. I don't know if I ever have so many actual specific tiger prints in one haul, um, but very soft knit uh, sweater. If you aren't familiar, Anthropology, Free People and Urban Outfitters are all owned by the same company. So you'll see a familiar tag, content tag, that little OB number typically um, should direct you to the style name, not always. So like, for example, when I pulled this up, I found similar items, but I didn't find this, uh, this print. So you kind of have to do some more investigating but this, that OB number will usually get you to a good spot. Next, again, kind of going with this like retro vibe. This is Zara, uh, Zara Woman, which if I'm not mistaken, I want to say Zara is kind of like the main brand. Zara Woman is a tier above it. And then Zara Traff Look, I think that's what it's called. It's like the one below it. Sometimes that helps with resale value, sometimes not. But I just bought this on style alone, just kind of this really cute navy um, navy blouse with, again, that pearl Peter Pan collar kind of style. And we got free people, kind of a fun little top, almost this like sweatshirt material. And when you look up the stock photo, it has it off the shoulders. Um, very voluptuous. I even think that was one of the style words that they had. Um, but this is what the free people tag looks like if you're unfamiliar. And then sometimes, not sometimes, uh, the, the Humane Society will mark clothes that are in their like boutique section with an X. Um, a lot of times they'll put it on the tag, but because free people tags are so small, they'll put it on the direct item, which n I don't love that, but you cannot see it from the outside. So I always make note of that um, if there's any sort of markings or whatnot. Got another Eileen Fisher piece. That is what it looks like, size medium. This is a really kind of lightweight, it's not hanging very well, but a lightweight kind of cardigan, snap button cardigan with the kangaroo pockets, another drawstring tie, and this one has a hood on it. So would you call this a cardigan, a jacket? Some, I, I called it a cardigan, um, but would you call it a jacket? Let me know. <laughs> We have, this is a brand I don't typically pick up. Sometimes it can sell really well, but I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> excuse me. A lot of the times I'm just not attracted to it. And that's half the battle when I'm looking for items. I'm like, am I attracted to this item? Am I excited to sell this in my closet? Um, and a lot of the times not from this brand, but this one was cool. This is Tommy Bahama. It is a limited edition Island Modern Fit. Kind of this like fun, I called it like a, like an abstract sand dollar shell print. I thought with it being limited edition, it would sell for more money because um, these retail for like $135. Again, retail does not equal resell, so always be careful of that. Um, but I had limited amount of time with my husband in the store, so I was just kind of grabbing, not really searching comps, but I think this could go for like maybe 30 to 40 bucks. So I'll still take it. Then we have this interesting like little blouse. So it's this like spaghetti strap blouse from Toby, size small, new with tags. I think that's why I picked it up because it was new with tags. But then it has this like little choker area up here. So kind of a different looking top, but still super duper cute. Can pair this with like a blazer or a cardigan for fall time. 
And again, I will suggest that you watch my recent June 2023 reseller recap because I talk a little bit more about vintage. Um, so I'm not a huge, I don't always look through vintage items, but if they're there, I'll look at them. And I'm kind of looking for items that are obviously I feel like are going to be modern enough for people to wear. So I ended up picking this up. I don't think, yeah, it's just Anne Klein. So it's vintage Anne Klein. But why I picked it up is because I loved the print on it. This is like a tartan print. I actually think this, uh, not totally. So if it didn't have the yellow, it would be the black watch print, which is my Campbell tartan colors. But this has a yellow in it. That might be a variation of one of the Campbell tartan prints, but also has this like velvet um, collar and sleeves, super duper nice. So again, perfect for fall, upcoming winter. This is a size eight, um, vintage size eight. Not only did it have the jacket, but it also had the matching skirt, kind of this fun wrap mini midi skirt with the like, kind of the tartan, um the fringe on it as well so definitely tartan would be a keyword that i would use good detailing on the buttons so i don't know should i sell it together should i sell it separately i'm i'm inclined to sell it separately um just to see because most people are not the same size on the tops and bottoms so if i were to sell it together that is kind of illuminating to the people who would be looking at it now this I almost passed up. It's just kind of this like white slinky dress. Didn't really think too much of it. Almost like a club dress. It's very midi, mini, sorry, with like this like drapey front and back. Um, but the brand is Meshki. Meshki. I had never heard of it before. This actually retails for a lot of money. I may have done a quick comp and obviously it was worth it enough to bring it home but I always try to like put new brands in my closet just because it's interesting for me of what's out there what people buy and you know what what I can make money off of basically <laughs> all right I think we're still in the humane society stuff I picked up a lot of stuff from the humane society um this is a prana dress size large just this cute t-shirt dress with like the micro micro striping on it a little cute little chest pocket so again kind of that transition from summer to fall and then oh this is this is the start of Plato's closet so what I did is I took the items excuse me I took the items from the Goodwill outlets and I immediately brought them to uh, Plato's Closet where I was already going and I was just wanting to see what I could sell immediately. That plan didn't work out too well. <laughs> um, I had a bag of personal stuff that honestly I've been holding on forever. I was doing one more shot if I could sell that personal stuff. Um, and then I did a separate order of the stuff from Goodwill Outlet. They only took one item and it actually was like the last item that I found. My husband actually found it. They were this really unique pair. They looked homemade. Um, almost like wool or felt wide leg trousers. They were all black, but then the stitching was like different colors, it was like rainbow colors, the stitching of, of everything. So they were really cool looking. And it was just funny that that was like the last thing I found and it was the only thing I sold. Um, and I think they got them for like four, they, they, I got like $4 for them or something like that, which is nice. Cause when you pay by the pound, I didn't quite do the math. I'll have to count everything up and do the math of the Goodwill stuff. But I think I made two, $2 on it or something like that. So anyways, long winded way of saying we're starting into the Plato's closet stuff. So I found this really pretty Abercrombie and Fitch maxi halter dress, kind of that, like gauzy ribbed material. I do have a vacation coming up, so I thought this might be really cute. I don't know, white is a little bit dangerous for me. Uh, um, but this is what the tag looks like. So it's a size extra large and it was new with tags and it retailed for 120. Um, so 
I did pay full price for this. Obviously we went in for the clearance sale, but there were a few items that I paid full price for, but I had like 20% off of everything too. So definitely took advantage of that. This, they didn't know what they had. Um, so if you know, you know, this is Tucker Nook. Again, I will reference my June 2023 video because I sold another item from Tucker Nook for quite a lot of money. Um, and so I was just perusing through the dresses. Like I said, I have a vacation coming up. So I was just seeing if there was anything that struck my fancy. Saw this tag and saw this tag, the new with tags, and got super duper excited. This is a very cute little kind of like cottagey type of dress, like poplin almost um little midi dress tiered at the bottom and they did not know what they had so when they don't have the brand right there that's usually their system does not know the brand that they're putting in so they just kind of price it what they think it's gonna sell for but I bet you anything this dress retailed for like I would say close to $150 and uh, this brand is pretty sought after on Poshmark or reselling sites. So, because I know when I listed my last one, it got a lot of activity and it sold very quickly after listing. All right, so now we're gonna get into the, I guess I will, I'll share one more, one more full priced item. Um, it was in the clearance section, but it ended up not being on clearance. And after I thought about it, I still purchased it for full price because again, they did not know what they had. It just was, they thought it was just a random brand, but this is Mayfair Club or Mayfair, Mayfair the label is that is what it's called. Um, and this actually is a Revolve brand and this little tennis skirt right here with the embroidery on it uh, retailed for like $150 and it's reselling for, I think from the 50 to $80 range. And it just says like Mayfair Art Club. What does that say? Everyone's welcome here. Super cute little, little tennis skirt. All right, now we'll get into the, the clearance items of stuff. And I'm telling you these prices were under Goodwill bin prices where it's like, I think ours charges like $1.79 a pound. This was under that, if you can believe. Um, so I didn't really hold back on anything. I tried my best not to go overboard, but it was like the second day of the clearance sale. So a lot of stuff was kind of picked over, but the, I still found gems, gems. So just wait. So I wouldn't necessarily call this a gem, but I did find it and it was cute. This is just Urban Outfitters, um, just really cute little bike shorts. It's like gingham, pink gingham print bike short. I don't think I'll, this will get a lot of money, but I thought it was cute style um, for my closet. And then the next was a pair of Lululemon crops. Are these might be, yeah, these are probably crops. So I don't know what the pattern is. I will definitely look on Lulu Fanatics because Lululemon is one of those uh, brands that I've noticed that um, it's nice to have the full title of it. So like the colorway, what kind of, you know, are these the Align three sevens in this particular color? I noticed that helps with, um, with uh, getting it sold pretty quickly, but it has this kind of like Python-y interior. What size? Size two, so the size dot can be in the back pocket. And then here is the Lululemon logo. Found a few items of Lululemon. So again, just because, you know, sales extend more than one day, I mean, cool, get there the first day. But if you can't, don't worry about it. There's still gonna be some stuff there. There will still be stuff there because everybody's shopping for different things. So this, I kind of broke my, I don't want to call it a cardinal rule, but I broke one of my rules regarding the age of items that I pick up. But this one was, again, kind of modern looking and very cute and in great condition. So this is J. Crew. It is a size zero, so it's a smaller size, but I still, still thought it was super cute. 
Uh, another Peter Pan collar item. Again, tigers and Peter Pan collars, apparently. Um, but this is a really cute kind of wool dress. Please don't be a hole. No. Okay, that's just a fuzzy. Um, just this, like, sheath dress. Peter Pan collar. J. Crew and Madewell are owned by the same company. And so if you look inside, there will be the care tag in there. And there will be a style uh, number and uh, year. So this one's fall 13. So this is going on 10 years, 10 years old. But why I picked it up is because it is still cute as hell and it's not shrunk. Um, so if you saw it was a wool blend, so you could definitely tell this was like taken care of because um, it doesn't have that tight wool feel. So that is why I picked it up. Do you have like an age limit of items that you pick up like only within two years or three years or something like that. Typically I like to do within like four-ish years, but sometimes you gotta break that rule, right? When you see cute things and it was a ridiculously good price. Next item is this like little sleep top, I think. Um, and why I say sleep top, cause it's free people intimately. So that's their intimately line. Um, very cropped has this little jaw drawstring it does have some like loose threads on the bottom but not anything you couldn't snip off and it's very lightweight so this would be perfect to sell on places like Mercari or Depop or eBay where it's very weight specific um and you're not spending you know eight dollars on shipping for one item next item I picked up this is Lioness there were a few different skirts like this. So this is a cute like little uh, mini denim skirt with the um, slit vent. I should, vent sounds sounds fancier. Uh, vent. Um, this does retail. It can retail for a lot. Retail was like a little bit iffy, um, but I thought the style was really cute. The price was really right. Size not so much. I'm trying to get like bigger sizes, but at this point, like at the sale there weren't a lot of big sizes left or bigger sizes left. So I did pick this up just to see how it went. I didn't pick up any more of the brand that I saw there because I didn't really like the style. And I also just kind of wanted to check if this is a brand that's going to sell well in my closet. This is Soul Los Angeles um, in collaboration with Anthropology. This is just a kind of a basic tunic sweatshirt how you can tell it's tunic is because it has this venting right here that's how I always tell if it's a tunic because you know sometimes you're like is this a dress is it a shirt this is how I tell it's because it has the venting on the sides that it's a long shirt or tunic kind of this fun um raw hem details long sleeve kind of that faded black so not like not like um I mean I guess maybe you can compare it to my shirt that I'm wearing, um, more of that faded gray black. I wish this was my size, but it's not. Um, size small, because I totally be keeping that. I'm very much into the just comfy stuff lately. Not lately, like the well, last three, four years. I've just been into the comfy stuff. Um, this one I probably shouldn't have picked up, but I did anyways. It's just Wild Fable, but Wild Fable can actually sell pretty quickly um, because they have trendy items that I've noticed sell out pretty fast in stores. So they are, um, I don't want to say if they're like super sought after, there's definitely not a bolo or anything, but some styles are more desirable than others. Um, like their shorts. I know their shorts are a lot more desirable just because um, they had a pair that they had for a few years. I know I have a few pairs of them. They're, they're a little bit longer in the back, shorter in the front, and even longer on the side, something like that, that if you can find them at the right price, they only retail for like $15, but people will still pay retail prices second hand because they are sought after. Long story. I picked up this wild fable dress. <laughs> it's a size medium. It is new with tags. It doesn't have the retail price on it, but I bet you anything this retailed for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, got it because ball's coming up. So it's this cute little it's not, it's definitely not wool, but kind of has that wool feeling. The little peekaboo cutout in the 
um, right under the bust. It's a mini dress, long sleeves. Would be cute with like a pair of Doc Martens and some like patterned tights or something like that. I could definitely see that. All right, so this was this was the score. I think this is probably the probably the best find of the day. Um, and why I say go to the sales, even if you think that they're picked over, people are looking for different things. This was picked over. I don't know if you can tell from what it is right away. It kind of has that like Sherpa Sherpa look. But these are. These are skims. These are skims Sherpa lounge pants in the clearance section. And nobody wanted them. I will have to, t you know, like look them over, uh, you know, like double check stuff, make sure. But even if they did have a flaw, I think somebody would still, you know, purchase these secondhand because they are kind of more of a um, higher end lounge wear kind of sought after, but skims size extra small so i was super excited about that uh the next one again another lululemon item these are more of these like kind of work pantsy kind of this like pleating in the front um all the way down to like a, a skinny leg with the button fly right there that's what the back looks like and they are a size two and this is where the logo is so again if anybody knows what the style is drop it in the comments i truly appreciate it all right another great sign at plato's closet that everything else was picked over but this pair of sandro pants sandro is a very expensive brand <laughs> and these are these really fun kind of satin looky satin looking flared like kind of mini flare i'd say they're mini flare pants these probably retail like maybe 200 bucks something like that um they are a size size three. Oh my gosh they're new with tags i didn't even realize they were new with tags <laughs> how exciting and it has the retail price oh my gosh these were 375 dollars so they were at they were at an outlet for 262.50 and then they got down to 105 but these are 375 dollar pants and it has all of the information oh so nice How exciting sometimes I get I, like go so fast with things that I don't even realize that they are new with tags and then I get to share this excitement with you all right still so excited okay the next thing I found were these Nikes the track and field Nikes honestly I don't pick up Nikes that much unless they look kind of special and I, I really liked the colorway of this kind of very like 80s 90s looking print I don't know the huge difference between all the Nikes. All I know is that it was like track and field. Um, these are a size medium. And it does have, looks like these, these are from summer 2015. That's what it says in there. You can't see that. Um, but they look very well taken care of. So who knows, maybe these are like a sought after type of print. I'm still so excited about those Sandro prints. <laughs> There's Sandro pants, like prints, Sandro pants. What is this? This looks, okay. This is just Gianni Beanie. Um, I love Gianni Beanie's shoes. I think they are overlooked. Um, they actually can retail for a lot. Like Gianni Beanie, Vince Camuto, Sam Edelman. I kind of loop them all into like the same category they can retail for a lot of money um, and actually resell for quite a good chunk too. So do not sleep on those brands. If they are kind of modern looking and have like are in great condition, I would consider picking them up. Um, I've sold a lot of that stuff. So new into the Gianni Beanie clothing. So I, again, was just kind of like checking it out. 
but I thought this would be super cute kind of again for summertime but this is like this cross neck halter it's gonna be really hard to show this this will probably need to be a mannequin mannequin um picture but I, I, maybe it's a mini dress no it's a romper see see I don't even look at closely at anything this is a romper how cute is that okay very very cute what size is that size four so if you want a Gianni Vini romper you head my way this I got for style um and kind of on brand so the brand is what can you see that Mare de Nord Mare de Nord what is that Sea of the North my French is correct um but I mainly got this because of the style of it it's this very like what they call it like a boucle kind of textured tweed material very chanel looking um little shift dressed again perfect going into fall why i say not necessarily the brand is because on poshmark this brand wasn't really selling really well i think it retails for a lot but it's not resell for a lot so that's why i say high retail does not necessarily mean high resale so this is a very good example of it but then like on thread up they were selling really well like they in the hundreds so i don't really know what i'm gonna do with it i'll probably sell it myself i'm kind of done with thread up but super cute little shift dress uh this i probably didn't shouldn't have picked up but i did it was in my cart didn't really have time to put it away um this is just kind of a khaki beige little linen looking mini dress with the exposed back this is just ASOS design, um, size US 10. I mean, it's still very cute, but I probably shouldn't have picked it up. What do we got here? A little satin leopard more with the animal print mini skirt. I think animal prints are neutral, so you can wear them anytime with anything. Um, this is just a coat. Ecote, however you pronounce it. This is from Urban Outfitters, size 8. Exposed chunky zipper in the back. Let's see if it has that style name and number that I talked about. So again, the tags will look very similar between Free People Anthropology. And there you go. It has that batch number right there, the OB. So plug it into the Google machine and get all your style information. This next brand is not a brand I typically pick up anymore. It just has not done very well for me. Um, but it is Fabletics. And why I did pick it up is because it was plus size. So it's kind of these like thermal long john looking pants. It was plus size at 2X and it was new with tags. So these retailed for just under $50. This is the crystal lounge legging in a, the short length doesn't seem too short though. I mean, I'm 5'10 and it hits my ankles. So that seems kind of, kind of long. All right. So this Plato's Closet, I told you I got a lot of stuff from Plato's Closet. Um, this is, what is this? Eerie, Eerie and Alley. This is an anthropology brand. This, I don't pick up this line from anthropology that often, but again, it was very cute peplum type of style kind of a thicker knit so summer into uh to fall kind of style it's an extra small this i picked up due to style this is this very sheer blouse with large polka dots and very large sleeves and front tie this is just white house black market which again sometimes can sell really well sometimes not so much um but it's a size small again i bought it more for style i think it'd be super cute if you had like i don't know this would be cute with jeans with a pencil skirt almost over like a spaghetti strap midi dress too super cute you can wear it a lot of different ways this i did get just because it was vintage um, this is Vintage Limited. Does anybody remember shopping at 
for me it was the limited two at the time because i was too young to shop at the limited but um this is silk this really cute kind of um what would you call it like a fit and flare dress i guess um just with a cute print and ruffle again kind of in that like cottage coquette even possibly like kind of whimsy goth i think would fit this pair it with a you know some docks or something like that be very cute all right this i probably shouldn't have gotten either but it was too cute to pass up. Uh, so this is Loft by Ann Taylor. It's a size extra small. And what really got me is because it's a little mini skirt. It's just the little, the, the ruffle hem at the bottom. That's it's the little things that <laughs> sucker me into something. Um, but that was cute. And then this I got purely based off of style, but apparently on depop this brand is popular or got popular for a second and this is just alfred dunner size 10 but i loved the hounds print uh hounds print hounds tooth print i've been talking too long um just style of it all so just a pair of pull-on pants my gosh we still have so much to go i know it doesn't look like we have a lot on the rack but we have shoes we have shoes and bags this i never heard of before um but i looked up the brand and it's kind of a <sighs> boutique uh boutique t-shirt brand or something like that it's called the hundreds it's just a basic graphic tee that says the hundreds on it i thought i'd give it a go you know, I like to have an uh, eclectic mix in my closet. Then, okay. I think from here on out, we're at the Goodwill outlet. Very particular with my cabbie, as I said earlier, but I will always pick up a cabbie jacket. So this is cabbie size small. This corduroy, like cognac jacket what is a perfect for people in the back for fall that's coming up so <laughs> this will be perfect for fall um i always say with cavi too it's important that you put the style number in the title because that's a lot of times what people are looking for because cavi if i am not mistaken is a catalog brand um so the style is very important and you can find the style right there This I got for my niece. She's obsessed with mermaids. So it's this cute little mermaid, uh, maybe like, I don't know, after the shower, after the pool. I don't have kids. I don't know what you call these, like little robes, just like a little mermaid robe. So I will see, oh, it has the mermaid tail. That's the best part. Um, so I will see if she wants this. This is definitely gonna be too big for her at this time, but if she wants it, I will send it. If not, I will sell it. So this is from 32 degrees heat. I will set that over there. This I was very curious about. Um, so I don't know if it's like super duper vintage or if it was like a recent vintage-esque tag, but this is from Levi's. This is a very lightweight chambray denim top. It is not snap buttons, but it does have like the pearl regular buttons. The shoulders are a little bit a little bit you can you can see the difference between the fabrics so they're a little bit worn out but i still think it's very cute so is anybody familiar with this levi's tag is this like true vintage levi's i don't know or if it's just a newer collaboration to look vintage speaking of levi's i always try to pick up levi's shorts especially when they're at the bins um, very nice, kind of longer looking. This is what I'm talking about, like the, the interior, the inseam is longer. So for girls like myself, where you got some, some thighs, they don't rub up. Um, Levi's, to look up the style names, if you look up right, you gotta really pull up that tag, it's that PC9 number. You can look that up and typically find all of the information that you need. But these are the 
513s. These actually might have been jeans because it does say the waist is 31, the length is 32. So somebody might have cut them themselves. Totally okay. You just disclose that they were cut and provide an inseam. Uh, when going to the bins, I was definitely manifesting some items, some brands to see there. The only one that I manifested for myself was Patagonia. Um, so this is one of their kind of lightweight tops, silver, white, little tee. This is, sometimes they'll tell you like what um, line this is in. I was thinking it was like the Calpoline lightweight. It still might be, and it just doesn't say, but what it reminded me of. This I picked up. This is the diffusion line of Spanx, but this is Assets by Spanx. Um, kind of little shaping top. I picked it up um, because these can still sell really well. Like they sell Assets at Target, but again, they can still sell decently well. And this was bins prices. So I bet you I paid maybe a dollar for this, if not less. This I just picked up because it was funky and sometimes you just have to pick up funky stuff. I have no idea what this, I mean, obviously it's a cat, but it kind of looks like this like gothic pentagram cat. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about this. If you are familiar with this graphic, please let me know. I just thought it was really cool. Um, it is on a size medium sweatshirt. It does have, you can tell it's definitely been loved, it has that worn in feeling, but I'm gonna have to like Google lens this cat because this is very interesting. But I picked it up because it's fun, funky, and it was Ben's prices. All right, so let's get to some bags. First, let's get all this, all this off first. So the first bag I found, I was hunting for shoes because that is my favorite thing uh, to look for is shoes because I think they have the best return on an investment, honestly. Um, and this was in the shoe bag, the shoe bin. And I just, it was cute. It was pink. I was going on the Barbie train of stuff and I didn't really look it up. Like I just kind of saw this at a quick glance and I was like, yeah, that might be something. Come to find out it is the brand, where is it? Bricks, B-R-I-C-S. And that is... And I saw like a limited edition or collection, I should say. So that kind of prompted me. This is a travel brand that if you find like the hard sided suitcases are like $800 retail, $800 for a suitcase. So this does not retail for as much, but it was still, again, sometimes you get brands just to, um, to put into your closet, just to attract attention. Um, so this is, I would be interested to see how well this sells. It took me forever to figure out what that word was and it is prisms. Um, so this is from the prisons collection. I cannot find a lick of information about this particular collection online, but I'm hopeful to at least list it around maybe $75. If that gives you an indication. This I also picked up the bins. Look at another tiger print. <laughs> it's like three tiger print items. Um, this is just Rachel Zoe. Um, her items. It, it's kind of a, it's, it's a weird mixed bag. Some of her items can retail for a lot of money when it's under her like designer. Then, then there's like Rachel by Rachel Zoe, which is sold at TJ Maxx. Um, so because it just said Rachel Zoe, I figured it was a higher brand, higher priced item. Um, I kind of waxed and waned on it. It's not my style per se, but I still thought it was fun and funky and figured somebody would love it. I did see some comps around $50, so... That also swayed my decision. Uh, this bag I got from the Humane Society. Perfect for fall. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this for myself, but I still think it would resell really well. Um, again, this is Zara Women. You can see, maybe not. Um, feels like faux leather, but still looks really pretty. I love the little whip stitch detailing of it all. All right, that's it for bags, so let's get on to shoes. Well, I guess before we get to shoes, here's um, a pair of socks that I got at the bins. 
kind of an odd thing to get at the bins, but I still got it. Um, these are nice thick wool socks and they are from the brand Icebreaker. They still seem to be in really great condition. Um, these can resell for like 20, 25 bucks. So, you know, for as lightweight as they are, I think have a good return on investment. If you know me, for some reason, I always pick up Cole Haan's, um, only if they're like in really good condition and a little more modern looking, but I actually think I've sold this pair before. Um, this is Cole Haan, uh, fun kind of like Python print, uh, little pointed flat with the slip on right here. Fun little kind of like chain link -like detail. This is from the Grand, collection which I think is like a more comfortable collection these are a size nine and a half I did pick up these Merrells I liked the color of them I thought they would be perfect for summer and they seem to be in really good condition they're a size nine so that's what they look like and the last item I picked up at the Humane Society store were these Nikes I liked because they have this really pretty floral print and if you can tell they're opaque or not opaque I should say they're more transparent kind of this like meshy detail um they are a smaller size but you know when when they start having like information like this in it I always get excited because sometimes it means that they're of higher quality you know how Nike has different tier systems too um I think these are the Nike Running Innovate Concept ZM Fly Design V72. So it gives me all my information right there. That's really nice. Um, they are smaller. Oh, I for some reason I thought they were smaller. These are eight and a half. That's going to do perfectly well. And they're in excellent condition. Like the midsoles look, I mean, there's a few little discoloration there, but definitely not anything compared to some other shoes that I've sold. Um, so those are all the shoes from Humane Society. I did pick up a pair of sandals from Plato's Closet. These were Doc Martens, as you can see right here. Um, I initially got them for myself, but I think they're going to be too big. I Funny story. Um, so while I was in Plato's Closet, this woman, you know, you kind of keep seeing the people, same people over and over when you go through the aisles. Well, this one woman dressed super cute, had a pair of really cute, chonky Doc Martin sandals, uh, lace up sandals, not necessarily like this, but they were black. And I was like, those are so cute. Like, you know, I wonder if they're comfortable or not. And then I find these, these are a size 10. Um, I'm a size nine, nine and a half, sometimes 10. And they're a little bit too big for me, but I was like, how funny that I was just talking about, you know, thinking these are super cute. And then I come across these and they were not insanely marked up. A lot of times my play closet will start Doc Martens around 50, 60 bucks. Um, and then I had that 20% coupon. So I got these, they don't fit me, but I ended up later that day, I, Mercari had like a 10% discount coupon or something like that. And I found somebody in Mercari who was doing free shipping picked up a pair, absolutely love them. They're super comfortable. All right, let me get the Goodwill outlet shoes and then we'll be done. All right, so we're starting off with a pair of dance goes. So that is what they look like. I didn't even twist test them or anything, but I no really no longer really pick up the clog looking dance goes unless they are like cute. So I'm talking they, they have a little heel, they're Mary Janes. I just don't pick up like the nursing doctor looking ones anymore. They have to be unique looking. Um, so I definitely thought these were unique enough to pick up and they were at the bins. Um, they are a size 39. I wasn't sure if I should pick these up or not, but I ended up picking them up there from the bins. Um, the only reason I was kind of discouraged was this little this little flapper right here, which I think I can just glue down, honestly. Um, I will disclose it. I'll disclose that I glued it. Um, but these are a pair of Justin Boots. Right? Yeah, Justin Boots men's 10 and a half. I loved the kind of like patina, turquoise, and suede combinations. I don't know 
why I keep picking up cowboy boots. Well, I know why. It's because they sell for a lot of money. Um, I just haven't listed them in so long. I have so many pairs of cowboy boots, cowgirl boots that I just haven't listed that I keep collecting them to take up space. Um, let's see. This, what was I thinking when I bought these? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, these are the floor shine, floor shine shoe. I thought that sounded like a good, decent brand, like men's brand. So these are kind of like, I always mix them up. Are they Oxfords? Are they Brogues? Are they both? Um, but just a really nice men's dress shoe. So they do have the creasing in it, which is gonna be natural from walking, but they, I mean, still are in excellent condition, only minor scuffs here and there but still really nice looking um these are size 10 and a half it says 10 and a half then 3e what does that mean 3e does that mean they're super narrow oh no somebody somebody tell me what that means 3e um okay picked up these cute little kid divas how cute are those these will have to take a little bit of a bath because uh yeah no actually they just look dirty but i think that's just the color of the footbed i probably still wash them anyways um cute little kid tivas their size size two and let me tell you i love it when they actually rubber band the dm shoes together because i had to put back so many single shoes because I could not find the match. I'm talking a pair of Doc Martens. I'm talking about a pair of Hoka's. Um, yeah, I know that there definitely are people out there who would buy singular shoes, but I just, I didn't want to. <laughs> so I had to say goodbye to all the singular shoes. So I'm very much appreciative when they rubber band them. Uh, a fun find, which honestly, I think this will pay for the whole haul. Um, these are Fly Londons. You can't really tell from that, but these are, let me take that off. Really cute little Fly London heels. They're, you can't really tell, but this like a mint green perforated leather with a little lace up. So adorable. Already, oh, here, now you can tell. Fly London. These can retail and resell really nicely. They're size 39. I might try to fit my feet in these. They'll probably be too small, but supposedly they're very comfortable and very nice shoes. I've only found them once before and it was at Buffalo Exchange and I had to pay up for them. Um, so I'm super excited to actually find it in the wild at the bins. These, again, <laughs> excuse me, I don't know if I should have picked up, but I did anyways. They're Mark Fisher, if, you, if I can actually put it right, you can tell I'm getting tired. Uh, Mark Fisher, size seven, um, cute little block heel, probably, probably real suede. Knowing it's Mark Fisher, it's probably real. I'll have to double check somewhere, but kind of zip up in the back, with the lace up the front. What are they perfect for? Fall. Kind of, it's kind of the theme. So I thought those were cute and I could find both of them. So that was kind of also the bonus. These are, oh, don't fall. Don't you fall. These are Crocs, they're Croc boots. Little lace up Croc boots with a wedge. And here is the Croc logo right there. I've never seen croc boots before, so I was excited to check them out. They do have some scuffing on the toe right there, but I'll just take some of that leather wonder balsam and clean them up. Kind of a very fun houndstooth print on the inside. And they are a size five and a half. Oh, interesting. These are from 2013. Wow, who knew Crocs was making boots since 2013 but they still look to be in great condition this i probably shouldn't have picked up either but these are a pair of taryn rose which can retail for a lot taryn rose collection they're just i don't want to get snapped <laughs> they are just a pair of like little f black flats with like kind of that um horse bit detail that was made very popular by gucci 
Um, so I thought this would be kind of cute for, you know, that whimsy goth type of, type of look. Oh, my nose is chain. did find, oh, another solo pair was a pair of Birkenstocks, which were in really great condition. These are in not so great condition. I mean, you can tell there's like chunkies taken out of them, but I, I'm going to price them very low, probably around the $25 mark, if not lower than that. Um, I forget what the name of the style this is, but if you do know, let me know. It's just kind of that three strap style. I don't, they feel like they might be that Burko floor material so it's not it's it's vegan leather um it's kind of what it feels like to me but I'll have to look it up um size Ugh. they make it so difficult I don't know I'll have to figure it out can't really tell the size but I did recently pick up this leather conditioner that when I was reading because I, I picked up a pair of Birkenstocks for myself that I wanted to clean out and they said leather cleaner was supposed to be really really good for the inside so maybe I'll try that on this as well. A few more pairs of shoes. These I got um for style and brand I think. I've never sold this brand before but apparently it's nice. This Blondo brand. They're says they're waterproof little suede ankle booties size seven and a half these honestly I picked up thinking play-dohs would take them but they did not um these are just Michael Kors little ballet flats with the emblem on them and the um oh did I not see that that's just a sticker. That's just sticker residue. It's not a chunk out of it. Um, but it has like the emblem on the bottom. I thought, I thought Play-Dohs would take them, but they did not. What size are these? These are a size nine. Um, also why I think Play-Dohs might haunt <laughs> might not have taken a lot of my items just because I still had like Goodwill stickers on them and they still had good Goodwill prices on the bottom but I told you I went straight from the bins to Play-Dohs I wasn't playing around taking off tags or anything like that could have been at my disservice but I was just I was just seeing it was, it was an experiment these I got these are cute little sandals they're from Sanctuary which I believe is sold at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. Um, just these cute like little asymmetrical sandals. They're a size seven. This was a pair of Via Spigas, which again can be a very high retailing brand. Perfect for fall, black leather suede booties. Um, size what size are you size 10 or european 41 and a half then we have our last pair another pair of birkenstocks these are the arizona sandals i know that for sure they do need to be cleaned up a little bit or i just say f it and just sell them as they are cork is a little bit deteriorating on the back but i still will still sell them I'll still sell them. Um, I obviously I'll test them out first, like kind of twist test them, make sure they're not gonna fall apart on you when you first get them. Um, but they're really nice, just kind of like house shoes. I'm currently wearing a pair of faux Birkenstocks in the house that are specifically my house shoes because they have nice arch support. That is all I have. Huge haul from three different places. I actually already have another trunk full of stuff. This has been sitting in my reselling room for a while and I've just kind of been drafting things up and I was like, I need to make a video. I need to make a video. Well, today was the day of making a video um, so I can actually take pictures of them and get stuff listed and put away. And then I can bring all the junk that I have in my car and we can do another haul video. So <laughs> if you are interested in another haul video, please like this video so I know that you are interested also consider subscribing um obviously I do reselling content um I do beauty content as well there I went very minimal today um but if you are interested to know what's on my face I will link it down below for you 
let me know comment what was your favorite thing from today's find i'm very curious to hear would you have left this stuff at the store or would you have picked it up as well i'd love to hear from you and with that i'll see you in my next video bye